Thank you, uh, Congressman Pimentel. The next to interpolate is uh, Congresswoman uh, Jinky Luistro. You are Thank you, Mr. Chair. I wish to direct my questions to Colonel Garma. Colonel, ano pong tunay niyong pangalan, buo na pangalan? Mr. Chair, Royina Marzan Garma. <coughs> Pwede ko po ba kayong tawagin na Colonel Garma? It's okay, ma uh, ma uh, Mr. Chair. Yes, ma'am. Alam po nyo, becoming a lady officer in uniform, that's one of my dreams. I was supposed to transfer to PNP, kaya lang patatakbuhin nila ako sa Oval, kaya bumalik na ako ng DOJ. <laughs> Tagasan po ba si Colonel Garma? I'm from Solana, Cagayan, Region 2 po. Where's Cagayan? Um, Norte po ba yan? North, yes, ma'am. Norte. Yes, ma'am. Doon po ba kayo pinanganak sa... Cagayan? Yes, Your Honor. Saan po kayo nag-aral ng elementarya? Solana, Cagayan. Cagayan. Your Honor. High school? Tugigaraw. Where's Tugigaraw? St. Louis College. Now it's St. Louis University, Your Honor. Nasaan po ang Tugigaraw? It's still in Cagayan. It's also in Cagayan. Yes. How about your college? Saan po kayo nakatapos ng kolehiyo? I... I... I finished my college uh, sa Philippine National Police Academy, Your Honor. PNPA po? Diretso kayong PNPA? No, Your Honor. My uh, last... Um, before I entered uh, PNPA, I studied in uh, Cagayan. Ano pong una niyong inaral in, sa Cagayan? AB Mathematics, Your Honor. AB Mathematics. Ano po bang trabaho ng mga graduate ng AB Mathematics? As I understand, usually teacher, tama ho ba? Yes, Your Honor, but I dreamed to become a lawyer when nung inaral ko po yun. Are you a lawyer as well? No, no, Your Honor. You plan to become a lawyer during that time? Mm, yes, Your Honor. Thank you. And uh, after finishing this AB Mathematics, ano pong sunod yung ginawa sa buhay? Mm, I entered the Philippine National Police Academy in 1995, Your Honor. When is this? 1995. 1995. Pumasok po kayo ng PNPA. Yes, Your Honor. And when did you finish your studies in PNPA? That's April 25 of 1997, Your Honor. 1997. After finishing your studies in PNPA, that is 1997, kayo po ba'y pumasok na agad? sa serbisyo sa Philippine National Police? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. And maari po bang malaman, saan po kayo unang na destino? Okay. Um, we were based in Camp Krame. We were made to uh, choose kung ano pong region ang gusto namin. Tatlo po ang hiningi sa aming region during the time. So, pinili ko po ang Region 11. Region, I think, 13, and then Region 2 was my last option. Mr. Based Mr. on my Garma. research, Colonel Garma, 1996 to 1998, kayo po ang anti-vice unit head ng Davao? No, Mr. Chair. It's from 1997. So this is 97 to 98. That's October. Yes, and you will agree with me during that time, kakagraduate nyo lang from PNPA. Somehow. Yes, Your Honor. And after this assignment, ano pong sumunod? I was the uh, chief of the women's desk of Davao Saan City. Saan po ito? Davao City Police Office. So ang kasunod po ng assignment nyo as anti-vice unit of the VAW is head of women's desk also in the VAW. Yes, Your Honor. You confirm. Ano pong kasunod nyong assignment dito? And then 2004, I was reassigned sa Camp Krame. I transferred po sa CIDG. So I was based in the main office of CIDG. How come based on my research, kayo daw po'y pauli-uli, Manila CIDG and Davao CIDG? How true is this? Yes, Your Honor. In 2004, I was uh, reassigned to Camp Krame. So, change of unit po from, from PRO, Police Regional Office 11, I was transferred to a national support unit, which is the Criminal Investigation Detection Group. If I may in interrupt, Kamprami. Colonel Garma, you Your confirm that 2004 to 2007, 
for quite some time kay nasa CIDG Manila and for quite some time nasa CIDG Davao. Tama po ba yun? I yes, that's CID what you're saying. I was in CIDG Manila until I think June of 2005. And then... I How about before and after June 2005? Where were you? Seldom po ako bumabalik ng Davao. But at least bumabalik po kayo ng Davao. I, I cannot recall if I returned only when I attended the wake of my mother-in-law during that time, Mr. Chair. To proceed, Mr. Chair, after po nitong CIDG assignment nyo, saan po kayo sunod na na-assign? Bumalik po ako ng um, Davao City Police Office. Uh, uh, yes, ano pong Region taon nito? At sometime... Um, 2009. 2009. You confirmed that you were the police admin officer of Davao City? Yes, Your Honor. What happened next after this? San po kay sunod na na-assign? Uh, almost three years after, I was assigned as station commander of Sasa Police Station. That's Station 4 of Davao City Police Office. Mr. So Chair. you confirmed that 2011 to 2016, Kayo po ang station commander ng SASA, also in Davao. Um, it's not until 2016, Mr. Chair. It's... Um, Maybe until, 2015. Until 2014. And from 2014 to 2015, uh, that Santa Ana Police Station of Davao City Police Office. But so, again, Santa Ana is likewise in Davao. Yes, Mr. Chair. And what happened after the Santa Ana Davao assignment? Um, January, I was issued an order to undergo pol uh, a uh, police officer's uh, senior executive course. And do you really confirm 2016, kayo po ang CIDG director ng Davao province? No, Miss, Miss, no, no. So Your where Honor. were you in 2016? I was undergoing a mandatory training. Uh, and Your after Honor. the mandatory training, where did you go? Um, January of 2017, I was designated uh, regional chief of uh, CIDG Region 7, Mr. Chair. Where oh, is no. that, Region 7? Cebu. What province is this? Cebu. Cebu. Was there no time during which you were assigned as CIDG director of the VAW? Never, Mr. Chair. Okay. And after your assignment as Chief of Police of Cebu City, no, CIDG Director of Cebu City, 2017, saan po kayo sunod na na-assign? Director of uh, Cebu City Police Office. 2018, Director of Cebu City Police Office. And after your stint as Cebu City Director of Police, ano pong sunod ninyong pinuntahan? I retired early and I applied for the position of General Manager of the Philippine Charity Ship Stakes Office, Mr. Chair. Can you please share with us, ano po yung exact date na kayo ay na appoint as General Manager ng PCSO? I think that that's July of 20... 19? I think 2019. July 15, 2019. Mr. Tama Chair, po ba? Yes, yes. Balikan ko po yung naging karir nyo sa Davao. At ako po yung medyo napapaisip lang, kayo po yung taga Norte, kayo po yung taga Cagayan, bakit po kaya kayo ay dito sa Davao halos nag-spend ng inyong karir in PNP? Tama po ba yung observation ko? Yes. Almost yes, your, your entire career was spent in Davao. Yes, Can honor. you describe to us Ano po ba ang peace and order situation sa Davao? From 1997 until 2015. It was very, it is very peaceful and it is one of the most livable city in the Philippines, Mr. Chair. Very peaceful and one of the most livable city. What do you think is the reason kung bakit po peaceful and one of the most livable city? I think because of the overwhelming support of the LGU uh, police and um, the social welfare of uh, Davao City is really working You mentioned poverty. You mentioned about the overwhelming support of the LGU to PNP. 
Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, yes, of Your course, Honor. it is a common knowledge as early as 1988. Mayor yes. na po ang ating dating Pangulo, former President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Yes, would Honor. you agree with me if I would say na kaya po peaceful at livable ang Davao is because of the leadership of the former President? Yes, Your Honor. You agree? Yes, I agree. And would you agree with me also if I would say Kaya po kayo na inganyo na dito manatili sa Davao, nagustuhan niyo ang leadership ng dating pangulo sa Davao. No, your honor. So what is the reason? My my ex-husband is from Koto, uh, from Kidapawan. Where's Kidapawan? That's Region 12. And It's you, near Davao. Yeah, and he convinced me that Davao is better than Cotabato I understand. Or Region 13. Colonel, of course you will agree with me that generally speaking, ang mga mayors po, may discretion yan kung sino yung mga police officers na magseserve sa kanilang area of jurisdiction. Sumasang-ayon po ba kayo? Yes. That is a yes, common knowledge. Honor. As a matter of fact, Noon pong kayo na appoint 1997 to 1998, anti-vice unit head of the vow. Hindi po ito mangyayari without the conformity of the former president. Tama po ba? Because he is the mayor. No, And the your... mayor can say, I want someone else. No, Your Honor. I no? earned it, Your Honor. Okay. How about your appointment from 1999? to 2004 as head of women's desk of the vow Again, don't you think ito po ay idinadaan at ikinokonsulta sa mayor before an officer is assigned i am not aware of that uh, policy during that time your honor well i'm sharing with you uh, colonel garma that by way of general practice kinokonsulta po ang mga mayors kung sino ang ia-appoint na officer dun sa kanilang area of the jurisdiction. I'm speaking based on experience because I came from the LGU. How about your appointment from 2004 to 2007 as CIDG Officer of Manila? Paano po kayo napunta sa Manila? Mr. Chair, way back 2004, my marriage was on the rock. So I have to leave Davao because of, of a scandal. In other words, kaya lang po kayo umalis ng Davao during yes. this time? Yes. It's because your marriage is failing already? Yes, Your Honor. And there was a big scandal, so I have to leave Davao. Thank And, you. Uh, Colonel Garma, how about 2009? You were Davao City Police Admin Officer. Would you agree with me if I would say na hindi po kayo mapupunta dito kung hindi payag ang dating Pangulo? No, Your Honor. How about your appointment from 2011 to 2016? Station Commander po kayo ng Davao? At ito po hindi rin mangyayari kung hindi payag at walang conformity ang dating Pangulo. Sumasang-ayon po ba kayo? Because it is a station commander position, it must be approved by the office of the mayor, Mr. Chair. So you agree? Yes, Mr. And I your appointment it. in Santa Ana, Davao. This has to be with the conformity of the mayor as well. Tama po ba? Yeah, yeah, yes. Maybe, yes, yes. In 2016, you were appointed as CIDG director of Davao. No, January 2017. Ito po hindi rin mangyayari without the conformity of the former president. Do you agree? I do not know, Your Honor. And we have to remind the committee, Colonel Garma, that during this time, Pangulo na po ang dating presidente. He was elected 2016. So, the more reasons that we have to believe na mahirap pong magpa-appoint ng CIDG director kung walang conformity ang dating Pangulo. 
if I will, ex if you allow me to explain, Mr. Chair. Can you just limit your answer to the question, Colonel? I do not know if there's an intervention of, or what. I just okay. received the order that I have to report to Region 7 as the director of CIDG. Thank you for your answer. No, We're no. taking your answer as it is. Yes. In 2018, kayo po'y na-appoint na city director ng Cebu City. Yes, Your Honor. And based on my research, hindi po ito gusto ng mayor ng Cebu. And yet, you were appointed as Cebu City Director. Why? The position was offered to me by, the, by General Sinas, Your Honor. And I thought that um, mas maganda, I will take the opportunity because very seldom po na ang babae sa PNP ay mabigyan po ng ganong posisyon at isang karangalan po na magsilbi as director ng isang siyudad na malaki. So yun pong dahilan kung bakit ako napunta dyan because it was offered by General Sinas. Thank Mr. you Chair. for your answer, Colonel. How about your appointment as PZSO General Manager? I applied for the position, Mr. Chair. Who was the appointing authority? The President, Mr. The Chair. The President was the one who appointed you. At kanina po sinabi nyo na nag kayo ng maaga. Yes, Mr. How Chair. early did you retire from the PNP to accommodate the appointment in PCSO? I served the Philippine National Police for 24 years, Your Honor. 24 years. Tama po ba yung kwenta ko na 10 years before your retirement ay lumipat na po kayo ng PCSO? 10 years? Yes. I, I, yeah, yes. Before I'm the correct. mandatory retirement, Mr. Chair. Okay po. At kayo po ba'y sasangayon sa akin if I would say, nang inaral nyo nung kolehiyo, AB Mathematics, Leadership Course, and Public Safety, these are all alien to the function of being a PCSO General Manager. Malayo, di ho ba? I don't agree, Mr. Chair. We're taking your answer. Nonetheless, Mr. Chair, Colonel Garma, the reason why you were appointed for PCSO General Manager is because the President trusted you that you can discharge the function of this office. Tama po? Possible, at, Mr. Chair. Otherwise, hindi po kayo i-appoint kung hindi po kayo pinagtitiwala ng Presidente. Tama po ba? It's, it's possible, Mr. Chair. And I wish to maintain my statement, Mr. Chair, na bago po ma-appoint ang isang official ng PNP sa isang area of jurisdiction, as a general practice, we always consult the LCE or the local chief executive. In other words, Madam Chair, I wish to, Mr. Chair, I wish to state that the reason why almost the entire career in PNP of Colonel Garma was spent in Davao the reason why he was appointed in Cebu City as city director and the reason why he was appointed as PCSO general manager is because pinagtitiwalaan po siya ng ating dating Pangulo, former President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. You need not answer this question, Colonel Garma. Um, tanong ko po sa inyo, do you trust the former president in the same way that he trusted you? Pinagtitiwalaan nyo din po ba siya kung paano niya kayo pinagtitiwalaan? Uh, Mr. Chair, can you, in what aspect, Mr. Chair? If uh, I want that to be clarified. Siguro, let us question. talk about your career in the PNP. Let us talk about your position as general manager of PCSO. Kayo po'y pinagtiwalaan ng Pangulo dahilan kung bakit kayo naging matagumpay sa inyong career sa PNP. Kasama na po yung appointment nyo as PCSO General Manager. Ang maliwanag po, Colonel, malaki ang tiwala sa inyo ng dating Pangulo. You need not answer that. Ang tanong ko po sa inyo, kayo po ba nagtitiwala din kay Pangulong Duterte?
Of course you do. Of course, yes ma'am. Yes, Otherwise, ma hindi nyo po tatanggapin itong mga appointment na ito sa Davao, including your appointment as PCSO General Manager. At yung pong tiwala, yun po'y ina-earn. Tama po ba? And yes. I must say, ito po'y nag-umpisa sa inyong paghanga sa kung anong mayroon sa Davao. You admired his leadership. Reason why you believe in the ability, capability of the former president. Tama po ba, Colonel Garma? No, Mr. No, Mr. Chair. Why? You don't believe the president? I believe, but I, do, I don't admire. You don't Mr. admire. Chair. Okay. Let me correct my terminology. You believe the president because you have seen what he has done already in the vow. Because you said earlier, livable and peaceful city ang Davao. And it is because of the leadership of then mayor, the former president, Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Tama po? Yes, Mr. Part of that. Yes. And uh, kasama po sa paniniwala nyo sa leadership, you also believe in his programs. Tama po ba? Part of that, Mr. Chair. Yes. In other words, kayo po ay naniniwala din sa ipinaglalaban niyang dapat supilin ang droga sa Pilipinas. Naniniwala po kayo? Yes, yes, Mr. Chair. And naniniwala din po kayo na dapat mawala lahat ng mga drug lords at lahat ng mga sangkot dito sa dangerous drugs operation. May I ask what Naniniwala means... din po kayo na dapat mawala lahat ng mga drug lords. Hindi po yung term na mawala, Mr. Chair. I think justice should be served, but yes, not mawala. Yes, justice should be served. Yes, Mr. And Chair. And in conclusion, Colonel Garma, naniniwala po kayo sa war against drugs. I believe in the part ng program. Kasi po, if I can explain my answer, Mr. Chair. Wait. There's Ilang parte ho ba mayroon ang program ng war against drugs? Intense police operation and uh, police community relation with intense police patrol, Mr. Chair. So, so I, which part do you believe and which part you do not believe? Community relations and intense police patrol. Because so you, you believe in both? Alin po yung sinasabi niyong naniniwala kayo sa isang parte? Aling parte ho ang hindi niyo pinapaniwalaan? I, I am more focused on police patrol. Mr. Chair, you, you can... believe in police patrol? Intensified police patrol using the quad operations concept, Mr. Chair. And the first part is? Community relations. You believe also in community relations? Yes, Mr. Chair. In other words, you believe in the entire package of the war against drugs. Tama po? Of course, the quad concept of operation should work hand in hand, no, I'm Mr. talking Chair. about the war on drugs in its entire context, the way it was launched by the Philippine National Police with the support of the former president. Naniniwala po ba kayo sa war yes, on drugs? Yes, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, you do believe. Yes. And do you confirm, Colonel Garma, kanina po tinuro kayo ni Fortaleza, kaklase niyo daw siya. Yes, Mr. Chair. You belong to class 1997? Yes, Your Honor. How about Superintendent Padilla? Do you know him? I've met him once, Mr. Chair. You've met him once. Yes, Can you Mr. enlighten Chair. us? Saan niyo po ba nakilala si Superintendent Padilla? Your Honor, um, I met him when I uh, passed by at uh, CIDG 11 sometime in 2016. And can you tell us the reason why you passed by in CIDG 11 in 2016? Uh, we are actually preparing for our thesis and my, uh, Your Honor, my subject is about uh, the interagency, um, uh, what is this, um, response or uh, on, uh, on illegal drugs. Uh, so I have to pass by there and uh, I would like to get some um, documents for my research. And so it's about the thesis. Yes. The reason why you happened to see. Yes, Mr. Chair. Superintendent yes, Padilla. Yes, the reason why you were in CIDG 11 is because of thesis. Yes, Your Honor. But can you enlighten us? Why was Superintendent Padilla there in the office? Was he part of the thesis? 
I do not know your honor why he was there. But you told us that you met him there. Ano pong dahilan nando okay. si Superintendent Padilla? Nung pong dumaan ako, um, uh, your honor, it is, um, nasanay po ako sa courtesy to pass by the office of the head. Who was assistant. the head during that time? It was uh, Colonel Leonardo. So, can you again tell us what year is this and month if possible? It's just Ju July of 2016. In other I'm words, you sure confirm that one time in July of 2016, you happened to meet Superintendent Padilla and Colonel Leonardo. I you confirm that? I you na po yung sinabi nyo kanina? Yes. Nagpass by kayo? Yes, Your Honor. I you confirm by. that? Yes. Yes. Kanina po, you also admitted kaklase nyo si Fortaleza. Do you recall any incident na dinalaw nyo si Fortaleza sa Davao Penal Farm Colony? Yes, Your Honor. When it was this? I think it was also July of 2016, Your Honor. July ulit. So, yun pong pagkikita nyo kay Colonel Pad uh, Leonardo, it was because of your thesis? Yes, Your Honor. How about having called Fortaleza? No, Your Honor. Hindi nyo po tinawagan si Fortaleza? Never po. Okay. July 2016, na-meet nyo po si Superintendent Padilla at si Colonel Leonardo sa CIDG. And then July 2016, dinalaw nyo po ang kaklase nyo si Fortaleza during the time nakadetain siya sa Dabao Penal Farm and Colony. Kasama nyo ang kaklase nyo si Grijaldo at ang dati nyo asawa si Colonel Vilela. Yes, Your Honor. Tama po ba? Yes, Your Honor. Nasaan po kayo Mr. during Chair, this time? Uh, Pakiulit lang po yung sagot niya kanina na ang sabi niya, never na tinawagan niya si Jimmy Portalesa. Never. Pakiulit nga po yung sagot niyo. Can you please mention again, articulate again your answer to my earlier question. May naaalala po ba kayong pagkakataon? na tinawagan nyo dalawang beses si Portalesa. Tatlo pa nga yata eh. Wala po ako Mr. naalala. Chairman, lang Mr. Chairman, before... Yes. Just uh, quick lang po, Mr. Chairman. I just to remind the Colonel uh, Garma, you're under oath. Huh? Yes, Mr. Chair. If we prove that indeed you're lying, we you might cite you in contempt. Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm about to wind up, Mr. Chair. During this time, July 2016 and August 2016, nasan po ang assignment ninyo, Colonel Garma? I was undergoing uh, schooling, so I don't have a uh, unit or assignment, uh, Your Honor. Wala pa po kayong unit assignment? Yes, wala pa akong office, wala po. But considering that almost your entire career was spent in Davao, I think it is reasonable to believe na kahit pa paano, alam nyo po yung mga nangyayari sa Davao. Somehow, yes. Yes or no? Hindi ho lahat, Mr. Chair. Some. Honor. Would you say yes? Uh, Your Honor, hindi kasi ako mahilig lumabas, magkipag-socials. Okay, so let me be specific, Colonel Garma. Except kung trabaho ko po yun, Mr. Did you Chair. come across the killing of three Chinese nationals in the Vau Penal Farm and Colony? Of course, na nabalita po eh. Na narinig namin, yes. Saan nyo po nabalita? And, hindi ko na po ma-recall, but uh, napag-uusapan. Sino pong kausap nyo sa usapan na sinasabi nyo? Kahit sinong pulis po. Kahit sinong polis. Can you please case. name names? Cannot... Sino po yung mga polis na nakakausap nyo tungkol sa tatlong Chinese nationals na napatay? Tatlong Chinese drug lords na napatay po sa Davao Penal Farm and Colony. Wala. Kahit sinong polis na magsasabi na oh, may namatay na Chinese dun sa loob. Oh really? Sino yun? Ganun oh, lang po. Sabi nyo po, ang daming polis. Can you at least name names? Name a few of them na nakausap niyo at nagsabi sa inyong may napatay na tatlong Chinese drug lords 
sa Davao Penal Farm. During that time, I was undergoing schooling, Mr. Uh, Your Honor. So yes, but earlier you said, namin. Colonel Garma, that you were aware because pinag-uusapan ninyong mga polis. Now tell us, I sino cannot... po yung mga polis na nakausap nyo? Hindi ko na po maalala, Ms. Hindi nyo na Maraming po maalala. Maraming polis po. It's, it's a very impossible na hindi maging news po yan at hindi pwedeng pag-usapan, Mr. Chair. Precisely, Colonel Garma. Yes, Maraming no. salamat po. I am done for now, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Thank you uh, Congresswoman uh, Luis Tron.